We have four questions left. Do you think you are not taking this exhibition and all that went with it seriously helped or hindered it? I've taken everything in this exhibition very seriously. I don't know about you. <laughs> and Tina has as well. <laughs> Um, I, I think, I think um, the implied sense of humor in the project has, has done nothing but help it for me, except maybe for tonight. I don't know. That's about it. <laughs> well, it's a pretty also, you can ask if we're not taking it seriously, yet we've organized there to be a clown here tonight and drums here tonight and we had to build cubicles and we had to build tables and we had to build shelves and we had to organize the system. So in some ways we took it extremely seriously. So there has to be some sort of like um, something on the other side of that seriousness because we kept it pretty well organized I think overall and so there was definitely... <laughs> There was definitely intention, and we definitely had plans, and we didn't necessarily goof off until like we set the stage right. So now that we're on the stage that we've constructed, we can sort of let loose a little bit, I think. On that note, can you sing Get Out of My Dreams, Get Into My Car by Billy Ocean? Please, will you? Okay, can you back me up here, Nate? Get out of my dreams. Get in the back seat, baby, that's right. Get into my car. Woo! Get out of my mind. Get into my life. Hey, you, get into my car. Second to the last question. What's with the post-it question delivery system? Why? We wanted to do it Miss America style. That's why. Right? <laughs> the TR is coming here. <laughs> Following this last question, we'll have uh, individual artist presentations. Our last question is, what's next? Well, we, uh, Tina and I would like to do a uh, public access cable program, I think. And I'm not sure what else. I'm going to lie down uh, when this is all done. What's that? They'll be there. Yep. Yeah. Absolutely. So, <laughs> and yeah, after, after Saturday, I'm going to lie down because I'm beat. So. What's next? What's next? Um, we got to do an interview with Bad at Sports, who's over here, up here on stage, uh, the podcast people. And um, we had a lot of fun talking. And we were actually thinking about pitching something to them soon about doing um, reviews of not galleries per se, but maybe grocery stores or bathrooms around town that had special things in them and reviewing them as if it were an art review. But... Um, but it's a bathroom. We also want to do uh, a review of hot dogs, the gourmet hot dog stand um, on the north side. I want to do it. I just want to go. I haven't been in a while. OK. Where did Lorelai go? I, she's, she's, <laughs> she, she's divorced herself from the project altogether, which is probably smart. And then there's also some B-movie stills in there as well. So. This a little, there you go. That's a little thing I whipped up last night. So, um, so uh, Duncan, would you like to? Wait, wait. What? So after each one of our artists talk for a few moments, we're going to have you on a timer, and Nate will be listening for anything um, you might say that needs to be omitted. Um, so after that, we, we ask that you write down more questions because you obviously have some questions for the artists. And at that point, our clown will come around and help you read the question. He 
he will he will take the post-it note from you and read the question aloud to the artist or curator, depending on who you need it to go to. So write those questions down, get ready for the clown to come around, and that will happen right after the artists give their little speeches. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I don't know how we're going to follow that. Uh, Shannon and I are middle management. We uh, curated one of the small booths at uh, the first round. And uh, we were talking about what we want to do with the show. And we decided that it, in the spirit of the inclusive environment uh, that the uh, Jason and Tina were trying to create, uh, we would have uh, we would do a show with all Canadians. Uh, so. We invited uh, all the Canadians that went to the Art Institute. Pretty much all the Canadians that went to the Art Institute. <laughs> and, uh, and we only got three replies. Yeah. So then, then we put in our own Canadians, and we decided that uh, it would be fun to uh, sort. Right. Great. Take a little funky cover for this. I, I did a conceptual piece in this, which is actually very last minute. It's called Duncan McKenzie's Losing His Hair. And it was uh, Duncan McKenzie losing his hair while we were here. But I actually wanted to use my 30 seconds to speak out against a plague that is uh, infecting Chicago, and that's Canadians. You can't swing a dead cat without knocking down a fucking Canadian in this town, and they're taking over. So I encourage all of you to write your congressman and rebel against the Canadian. Come on up. Could all the Canadians approach the microphone, please? What's the th What's the theme song to Hockey Night in Canada? Yeah, all Canadians. Uh, uh, no, that's yeah. Okay, all Canada. We'll sing all Canada. Come on, Shannon. Would everyone please rise for the national anthem? Oh, cool. Okay. Welcome to the team, man. Okay. One. Oh, Canada, our home and native land, true patriot love in all our sons' command. With glowing hearts, we see the rise, the true north strong and free. From far and wide, no And then we brunch on Sunday. UIC crowds rock the best. We got it all on tape. Oh, you did? <laughs> and I'm really glad I didn't participate. <laughs> the show's been looking good. I, oh, yeah. I saw it twice. And it's Every time. A winner. That's perfect. <laughs>